So I'm really trying to bridge that gap and really try to help people to educate them and how do we bring Web 2 people into the Web 3 space? Because I think that's really a big deal that we need to work on. Fun. And it's been a blast working with him. I mean, uh, this guy works hard. I mean, I'm really impressed. He's obviously taking the NFT space by the storm. He's bringing in the AI. He's a very energetic guy, and I'm very excited about the project and go. And so I'm very thankful to be able to work with Chris and help work on launching a project. I know you've been performing a lot around Europe and the world behind your mask. I've been super honored to start the project like 11 years ago playing behind the masks and playing as avatars, as, let's say, our highest selves. The community is so welcoming into the Web3. I haven't found this yeah. on the Web2. So how you came up with this? I started this 2018 in London to work on how we can create a media franchise that the community is going to make it what it should be. How we can use this vehicle with AI and NFTs to empower storytelling and allow the community to be a part of a um, global media franchise to empower change. We're at a very interesting time. We all have to be very careful right now. This is a very, very, very important time because we must try to stay decentralized as much as we possibly can. It's a very important thing for the people. Uh, this is an opportunity for us to take back the power of the currency in a way that we've never had before. And we all need to get wake up and understand what's going on. And uh, this is a, really an opportune moment and also a scary one at the same time. This is the community. The collaboration is extraordinary. Like I have an NFT project right now that I'm working with. I've got 10 of the top NFT artists building on top of my assets. Right, so it's one of those things that because I can hand them the rights, I can say, you go build on it, you go make on it. What's beautiful is the blockchain will manage the royalties. I can get my little piece, everybody else, they can take 90%. So it's an opportunity where the community can actually lift all the boats. And I'm telling you, that thing about the community has changed my, I mean, it makes me feel 30 years younger, I gotta tell you, hanging out in this space. So if you're in the Web3 space, high five on you, you're the builders. We need you right now to help move this movement forward. And uh, it's, I gotta say, it's very exciting uh, to work with so many talented people in this space. And we're inventing, right? That's what makes it so fun because it's constantly changing over and all the time. So. Yeah, this is a crazy cool time. Just like I had no idea coming here what we've now putting together. And really this thing that he's putting together is really a movement around the fact that we have to, you know, it's, it's the concept of like, we need free thinkers out there right now, right? We need people that can free think, not be locked into the matrix because we are, we're in, the, in these things all day long. We're like stuck, right? And this information and the algorithms are feeding us what's true and what's supposed to be true and not true. We got to be able to step out now and take a look. And so what he's doing and what we've done is we're building this movement around the idea of bringing free thinkers together so that we can all start to get out of the matrix. And how do we yeah. use the matrix to get out of the matrix, right? Yeah. So. Uh, there's no question the, uh, the advent of all this technology is basically changing the behaviors of how people interact, what we do, how we interact, uh, and uh, a lot of it's for incredible goodness, but there's also things that we have to be very careful of. So uh, this is what this movement is about, is to really get people that can actually really free think, not get triggered by things, but come together so that we can start getting, getting the knowledge out there, the truth of things that are really matter to the people mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. And the NFTs and the metaverse are the best vehicle for, to empower storytelling and community collaboration. Yeah. Yeah, NFTs are the greatest storytelling device I've ever seen. I mean, that's the beauty of it. NFTs, the whole thing about an NFT is it's about the storytelling, yep. right? That's, it's really incredible. And, and the gamification and the way that you can do things. Coming out of the uh, early days of CD-ROM, multimedia, all that, when I saw NFTs, I felt like I was home from, you know, from the 90s again, bi building, you know, multimedia titles because that's what the beauty of an NFT is. There's so much power in them. And once they're truly understood, I don't care if you're a hair salon, you're a, uh, uh, doesn't matter what business, a, a bar, a grill, everything will be NFT and also it becomes the, the mechanism for commerce inside of the metaverse as we move forward. But why the music is so important in all this, what is there? The story is there, it's built through the visuals, but the music plays an enormous role and, and you two are combining like two aspects of that. Why? Well, I mean, the fundamental of this is 
at the, at the fundamental lowest level at the quantum world, we're just a vibration, we're a note, right? And music is the thing that touches us and moves us in such a way, right? So it's very important, music has to do because it touches our soul, it takes us away, it actually gets us to a place where we can start to get to a no mind state which is really from a consciousness point of view. So music really touches people, it gets to their soul, and it's an opportunity to kind of, it's universal. Yeah, you know, I don't care where I go. I mean, you know, I mentioned Pink Floyd all over the world. Pink Floyd, it's, it's everywhere, right? And it's that, the power of that, uh, of music. So this is a thing that can heal. Uh, we're learning even more about frequencies. Like I think right now we're in frequencies are one of the most powerful things that we're learning from a healing, from a biohacking point of view. So we're, uh, music's gonna play a big part in all of this and it allows us to really connect at a, at, a, at a level where we drop all the other stuff and we can be together in that sense. And for me, it's like, I always tell everybody, everybody says, you know, why do you play music? And for me, it's like, I, I, I say I get to connect with the source. Because what I love about him, there's not a lot of people in the music business that are really getting into it. This guy, he, He's an animal. He goes make stuff happen. And I mean, he put together so much stuff. And it got me excited because it was somebody else in this space. Because I, I can tell you, all my friends are going, dude, I can't sell music anymore. What do I do? Right? Where do, how do I make money? Where's the thing? I can tour. I can do stuff. So now we have a mechanism finally that allows freedom for the artist. There, spend the time. Go put the 40, 50 hours in. And once you have that thing flips in your head, and you still, oh my God, this is so much bigger. You'll be able to design, build. It's the most creative space you could possibly be in.